Hey guys, it's Talamic here with DMB Academy, and today I want to take a look at breaking out of the like loop. Um, if you're stuck in like an eight bar or sixteen bar idea, and you don't know how to expand that into a full tune, this is the method that I use to kind of break out of that and to get writing more. Um, otherwise, I find I have a load of like sketches that just all get ditched. So I've got this sixteen bar sketch here. I've just got a few loops. We've got a bass line and then I've got some drums at the bottom. So how do we t go from this into something that's actually fleshed out and, and interesting? The way that I do it first is that I'll always create a blank MIDI channel at the top. People can use markers for exactly the same thing I'm going to do. Uh, I just prefer doing it this way um, just because it makes sense in my head. So I'm going to title this arrangement. I'm going to create a load of 16 bar blank MIDI tracks. can minimize that now up until about the length that we need we can add more and take more away and everything else so just going to label these we'll have two intros the reason that i wouldn't do 132 bar and then label that as intro is because i want to know okay at this point i need to vary it up and every 16 bars you're going to want some kind of change um even if it's still the intro you want section A and section B to be distinct in some way. We'll have a verse and then drop A, drop B, drop C. Break down and then drop A, B and C again. Cool, so that works. And then I'll copy this over to our drop A section for now. Uh, the reason we've got three drops, A, B, and C, is exactly the same reason we've got two sections in the intro. I know that each part of the drop needs to be um, distinct in, in some way, otherwise you're just going to get a really boring tune. So let's paste the drums first. Just I'm using Command D to do that, be Control D if you're on Windows, and we'll copy and paste to here. There will be elements of the drums that I would, would change and edit if we're working on this. But this is just to break out of that as soon as possible, get to look at a more full arrangement, and then I can go in and tweak elements of the drums. I might take bits out, I might add bits. Um, but the core thing here is to at least get a full arrangement that we can then tweak from and like carve it down, right? Um, we've got a bass line. So we'll copy and paste this for the drop. <laughs> And obviously going through, we might add like a little more uh, embellishments from this little filler base. We might add a few more, but for now, that's fine. And then we've got our main instruments and this we will tweak. So we'll duplicate it for now. And then take a look at our elements. We've got this ARP with a bit of automation. So maybe we don't have that, say, for the first part of the drop. And maybe even mute. We've got this descending pluck here. And maybe we mute that as well. And then potentially in this second bit, we can take this. And actually just filter it down. And then... Bring everything back in that last little part there. And let's copy this over for the second drop for now. Again tiny little variations between the first and second drop we can do later on 
but we're, we're just looking at, at uh, getting out of that small loop as fast as possible. Okay, let's look at intro first. I like that as a hook without giving the main chords away too much. We'll maybe bring those in. And maybe let's use these drums here as well. And take the last little bit. Maybe bring it in lower and then we can like bring it, tease it so that it comes in properly on our verse just here at the end. Do obviously leading up to the drop is maybe like add uh, just a high pass, just to bring it up to um, so that we're kind of sucking out some of that energy. <laughs> go and we can copy that over for the second one as well. So that, there it is, really dead simple, super easy. Um, and we've already then broken out. And I now looking at this can be like, okay, the intro needs less, this bit needs less, this, and I can like work at it in pieces um, rather than trying to like figure it out in a linear way. I always struggle if I'm trying to work on a tune to start with the intro and I write the intro and then I'll try and write a verse and, and write in that way. I get stuck all the time, basically. And so by doing it this way, I'm kind of breaking out of that um, a little bit. One of the tips that I can give you is that if we bring in a tune, so here we go, this is uh, Introspective by Galaxy. Um, it's one of their older tunes. I can then look at this and create an arrangement based on it. Uh, people get kind of worried, like oh, I'm stealing from other people and everything like that. If we're working in dance music, a lot of structural stuff is pretty consistent, right? So I've made some changes here. Their drop is one sixteenth longer than mine, um, you know, and they've got like an outro bit on the end. But generally speaking, you know, it's fairly predictable. So we could create. I could drag this in. Oh, I could drag this in. We can then create our arrangement at the top based on that, and then delete the reference tune and then start sketching out. So if you're not sure on how to arrange a tune, you're a little bit stuck on that side of things, particularly if you're not familiar with DJing and stuff like that, this is like a really easy way to get around that. Um, yeah, but hopefully that helped. Any questions, let us know, and I'll see you in the next one.